Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League One Predictions. Um, you know, midweek games, few results not going the way a lot of people might have expected. Um, obviously a few things have happened at Berry as well, which I will update you on as we go through. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game... Um, I'm going to kick off with Portsmouth and Rotherham have been postponed. I don't know why that's been postponed. Portsmouth or Rotherham fans, if you know why it's been postponed, please put it down in the comments below. So we move on. Um, Doncaster versus Lincoln. Now, Doncaster game against Bolton got postponed um, due to a lack welfare with their young on players that bolt on the plan. Well, as Lincoln did go ahead and lost 2 1 to MK Dons. Um, so, we've got no other choice really but to talk about that MK Dons result. Um, Lincoln, I think I suspect a bit more. Uh, no disrespect to MK Dons at all, but I just think I suspect a little bit more on that game. But anyway, I've gone for a 3 1 scoreline to Lincoln for that one. My next one is Bolton versus Ittridge Town. Now Bolton's game against um, Doncaster, I've already said it, got postponed due to the uh, welfare of the young players that Bolton have to play at the minute because of all the financial situation. Ittridge Town did go ahead and beat Wimbledon 2-1. Was probably expected from Ittridge, if I'm all honest. Uh, but for this game, I've gone for a 2 0 Ittridge win. My next one is Bristol Rovers versus Oxford. Um, I think these two games did go ahead. Bristol Rovers beating Tramia 2 0. And Oxford United beating, I oh know, sorry, losing to Burton Albion 4 2. But that, that's got to be a really enten, enten, entertaining game, got on him. Um, you know, from a goals perspective. When two results I probably was expecting, so I ain't got to brag on it too much. Just going to hand you the result over. I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Coventry versus Ginningham. Coventry, Port, drawing to Portsmouth, 3-3. Um, and Ginningham, Blackpool 2-2. Two, two. Go to the Portsmouth result for this one, considering their game is postponed for the weekend, whatever reason that is, as I said, I don't know. Um, Coventry going down to Fratton Park and getting that result, I don't think that's too bad. Same with Ginnam, only differences with Ginnam, it was at Ginnam's ground. But for this game, I've gone for a 3-0 Coventry City win. Yet again, Coventry, I'm expecting a lot of you. Um... My next one is Fleetwood Town versus Accrington Stanley. Um, Fleetwood Town, Fleetwood Town, one all with Wickham and Accrington Stanley uh, loses to Shrewsbury three two. Let's go to Fleetwood and talk about that result. Um, Fleetwood, uh, one all. With Wolverhampton, um, not Wolverhampton, sorry, Wickham fans, I do apologise. Um, you know, where I don't think that's a bad result for Fleetwood, but I did think I'll put you down for the win in my predictions. So, you know, as I said, if you're a fan of any, any one of these teams, please feel free to put your comments down below along with your predictions and other things. Um, but for this result, I've gone for a 2-1 Fleetwood win. My next one is MK Dons versus Peace Bar. MK Dons beating Lincoln 2-1, as I said at the top of the uh, video. Peter Bar beating Southend 2-0 away from home. Considering I've got Southend fixture coming up, um, let's talk about that MK Dons result in a little bit more fashion, but for this time, from the MK Dons point of view. Um, MK Dons, three points at home, gets a top, well, as I said, in the next few years, probably a top league two side. 
So for that, you got to be happy with that. Um, or we expect some more. But as I said, put it down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, if I was an MK Dons fan, I probably would be happy with that. And the uh, only thing I'd probably be a slight disappointment with is not having the clean sheet. But you know better than I do. Um, but as I said, MK Dons got to be happy with that result. Um, if not, put it down in the comments below why you're not. Um, but as the first result goes, I'm going for a 1 0. MK Don's win. My next one is Watchdale versus Blackpool. Blackpool uh, drawing 2 2 with Gillingham. And um, uh, Watchdale losing to Sunderland 2 1. Uh, where do you go with this one? Um, <laughs> Watchdale losing 2 1 Sunderland ain't a bad result. So I think Sunderland, maybe not. Maybe this season, maybe next season, I think I'll be back in the championship. So let's not be around the bush with this one. And I've gone for a 2 0 Blackpool win. My next one is Shrewsbury Town versus Burton Albion. Shrewsbury Town beating African Stanley 3 2. And Burton Albion 4 2 winners over Oxford. Consider I, I basically nearly spoke about them both. Just got to give you the result. I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Sunderland versus Wimbledon. Um, Wimbledon 2-1 winning, 2-1 uh, losers, sorry, over Itchwich. And Sunderland beating Watchdale 2-1. Considering yet again I spoke about them both, I'm just going to give you the result. I've gone for a 2-0 Sunderland win. The next game I'm supposed to be talking about is Berry versus Tramley Rovers. But as I've said, game's been called off. They've got until Friday what I'm hearing to get themselves fit in the Football League. Otherwise they're going to be thrown out. I really do hope Berry get it sorted out. Um, it's not nice. Um, what I've been hearing as well, it don't look too promising but Berry, I really do hope you get it sorted out. I know you've only got a few hours left, or 48 hours, or where, how many hours you know you got left while you're watching this. But I really do hope you get it sorted out soon. So my last game for this weekend is Wickham Wanderers versus Southend United. Um, Southend, I think I spoke about. Wickham Wanderers, I spoke about. So I'm just going to give you the result for this one. And I've gone for a 3 1 Wickham win. But, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, if you're on the road this weekend, have a safe journey. Um, but, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.